so I'm gonna get to know you better. Good morning, beautiful ladies, and welcome to our Sunday, December 19th hangout. Um, there won't be one next weekend, just because it's Christmas weekend. And so, yeah, go enjoy time with your family. So uh, then we'll have our next one in the new year. Um, I just, yeah, I I don't have any major announcements or anything to talk about. It's your it's your time this morning, but I will say that last weekend I was at zero points and this weekend I'm at 10. So you just need to talk to people. That's what it's all about. Um, two of those are brand new people. I had a couple people that wanted the job one. Um, so they joined in. Uh, so it's uh, it's just making sure that you're getting the information out to people so they know that it's there. Um, the two that wanted job one had already had Beachbody on demand, so they just did upgrades, uh, did completion packs, and then the two new people, like, I don't know, and it's so interesting because I just had this preconceived idea that I wouldn't get any new people in December because people don't want to spend money and close to Christmas, but, you know, in one week we hit, uh, Success Club 10, so, so it is possible, just got to talk to the people. Um, and, but that's really all I have this morning, Sam. I was just letting everyone know that next weekend we won't have hangout just because um, Christmas is Saturday, Boxing Day Sunday. So our next one will be in the new year, which is crazy, right? Everyone's hoping 2022 will be better. I did register for the new leader conference yesterday. So fingers crossed that I'm able to go. Um, with all the new rules and regulations and what have you. So I think the only thing that would stop me would be if I had to do a 14 day quarantine coming home. Um, that would be a, yeah, not happening. But uh, we'll see, fingers crossed, right? Hopefully. So yeah, this is your, this is your time. Ask your questions, how, share what's working, share what's going on. Um, and uh, we'll just go from there, okay? Who wants to go first? I know Debbie has two people joining her. I got my sister signed up last night as a preferred client. So I just need one more before the end of the month. So I want to take advantage of everyone signing up in January. <laughs> uh, for sure. So we just need to make sure we have to teach you how to put it to your other opposite leg. Right? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, because I think it will automatically just go underneath your sister. I don't think it goes like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So Julie, can you get okay. 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 Yeah, I just gotta... So we'll we'll look at your back office there, Debbie, and see where your sister went and then okay. direct there. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Um, just remind me with a um, potential new customer who wants to do um, like a sample workout with you, it's okay to use the uh, Fit Gym, right? The 24 hour Fit yeah. Gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. I think it, it gives people an idea of like community. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I was just absolutely I thought about that, but then I was always also thinking, like, is it okay that we are sharing this with people who might not end up, you know? But that's good. That's good. Well, then they're missing out on our amazing community. Right? <laughs> Agreed. So the fact that you can work out from anywhere. How's working out from Brazil, Brazil, Clarissa? <laughs> oh, really well. I cannot believe I'm here. One day <laughs> before the new rules came into effect. And, you know, I told Tamara that I was like, I couldn't like feel the happiness and anything because I knew after the, the November 30th, when Omicron was announced, I was like, oh my goodness, we're gonna go into lockdown again. I knew what was coming, I knew. But thank God, like one day before I flew, I'm here with my family and it feels it feels light now because mm -hmm. I was caring a lot. I told you, I shared it with Tamara because during my therapy, it came up that I was, um, they, everyone was gonna die here because there's no there's no rules here in Brazil. Basically, like there is no pandemic. People yeah. they are being obliged to use they wear the mask. But today we went to the restaurant to have lunch, 
there was no limit of seating. Like there was no taxi glass beside the tables. There was nothing. It's yeah. just like normal, but you wear a mask. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they have hand sanitizer everywhere. But so I knew that like, it could happen that everyone was gonna be gonna be gone and i was carrying the guilt that i was the one that decided to move to another country and i was never gonna see my family anymore because there was no flights there was nothing air canada just started flying again end of october so i, I just just saw one million motions like yeah see you <laughs> when I, fi I finally can feel again that is i finally can feel again and uh, working from here it's freaking amazing it's amazing I'm like seeing my Leah and now she brought her cousin from England and, and yeah it's been amazing and like I'm inviting a lot of people to come and do that time because Tamara has her time slot 5 8 5 30 until 7 30 that's what I call her time slot my time slot at 10 and 3 p.m local time here in Brazil so it's been amazing oh, yeah I'm, in lo I'm loving it good that's really awesome to hear oh that enthusiasm I love it and if there's lockdown in Canada, I have no time to go back. Seriously, I don't want to do lockdown anymore. I'm done. I'm seriously done. Yeah. I'm going to be here. We're still flying to the US on the 24th. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, Where are you I'm going? Just done. It's um, San Diego. Oh, OK. Um, but when we went over, I think I was in there the same weekend you were there, Tamara, um, just because we wanted to cross the border um, into Seattle. And yeah, nobody was asking for vaccine passports anywhere. <laughs> like people were using masks, but um, and yeah, coming back, the borders were super backed up because people, the ride can app was an issue. So now, and that was the first weekend they opened it up for um, no yeah. testing before so, and of course that's gone too. So, but yeah, it'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm really glad to hear people are still. Yeah, I was saying, I, I feel like it's um, as a society, which I mean, this has nothing to do with coaching and what we do. It's backwards in terms of what is essential travel. Work shouldn't be essential family should be essential, right? Like, it's just so bizarre that that's how we're wired as a society that, you know, you can go on a work trip, but God forbid you go see family somewhere. Like, what? I, I And that's the thing I'm like, people are going to ask what is essential. I'm like, well, Sandra's dad is 77. He ended up losing about 35 pounds over the last two years but before he did that he had chronic diabetes just like eight, to the point where they were talking about dialysis and and so on and then he went on a vegan diet and um took his uh, health very very seriously and, and he's doing great right now but we haven't seen him since all of this has happened and i think that's essential that's really essential to me so yeah yeah i totally agree yeah i think it's very weird I remember once uh, someone saying about Australia, how Australia, people in Australia work to live, people in North America live to work. And I was like, oh. MJ, what's, you were going to say something, sorry. I Oh, I was just going to touch on what uh, Sammy was just saying. I have a friend in Calgary who, you know, didn't see her, her parents for two years, obviously for Christmas and whatever. And, you know, her dad passed away. He's gone now. And she's like, we should have just done it anyway. It breaks my heart because I think the opportunity is gone now. So we do have to keep living our lives. Sorry, I'm emotional. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we have to keep living our lives, but do it safely. As safe yeah. as possible. Yeah. yeah, that's why I didn't go on Friday because my parents have a chance now of coming. And my dad, it, he, because of his accident had, um, he's really prone to pneumonia. So I was like, I just, I have to be smart. I'm already around 28 kids and I don't know how many Christmases I have left. And imagine you don't spend it with those people and then they're gone. What's the point? You know? I completely agree. Yeah. I That's completely right. agree too. Mm -hmm. I think, I think family should be essential, not just work stuff. Yeah. I mean, my parents are getting up there in age, I, you know, and I don't have much family left as it is. So I mean, obviously right now I can't travel because of the highways. They're too, too dangerous, but 
still like any chance I can get to go see my mom, I'm going to, I don't really care because I mean, she's 70 and I honestly don't know how long she's got. Right. I mean, she's healthy right now, but we just don't know. Right. None of us know. Right. None of us know how much time we have. So no. everything is the gift of, of the present, right? So none okay. of us know. I just don't like how they keep classifying as people working as essential. Well, what about family? Like, how is family not essential? That's like how we function every uh, day. That's your mental Yes, health. I have my kids and my husband. I'm fortunate enough to have that here. But like, but we still have our parents. Uh, every one of us has parents. And, you know, and any other extended family that we're close to. And I mean, they're what keeps us going too, right? And why we do what we do. The call, sorry, I just totally got distracted by Miss Lovely walking into the call and looking at her mama. <laughs> Hi, Lovely. That was the cutest ever. <laughs> she just started crawling out of the bed and coming out. So I'm like, Dude, you come from. <laughs> oh, oh. So good morning. Hi. She's the show stealer, that one. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Marco, did they have more t shirts made? We are actually having a meeting about that on Wednesday morning. So I think they are coming because I already have a sponsor for printing them. So as it's as it stands right now we need a sponsor each time we do a reprint and it's fifteen hundred dollars to reprint these t-shirts and then um up, up car who i'm working with on this he says you know minimum ten dollar donation so of course that means you're <laughs> potentially make bringing in less than what they cost but i think what he's trying to do is make it um available for everybody so yeah anybody hopefully can buy a t-shirt if they can afford ten dollars then that's great but if they can afford twenty dollars that's good too but um what we're going to talk about it on tuesday because i said to him if by any chance this uh because merit's going to take a long time to rebuild it's it's not a it's not a christmas you know donation thing <laughs> it's more of a january to probably maybe even september of, of next year so in order to like we this could gain legs if um you know if we get it in the media if we get it <clears throat> kevin falcon now is going to be supporting it and stephanie could do mla stephanie could do and so so then sort of we just have to sort of strategize how that's going to look because all of a sudden maybe we have ten thousand people that want to buy a t-shirt and we've only got a hundred <laughs> each time we do a batch so they're coming <laughs> but it's yeah, just a matter of how it, it, we're gonna do this yeah sorry what oh uh, i so, said yeah that's awesome i just wanted um because i'm very interested in the next batch as well so but you're right it's gonna gain momentum and more and more people are gonna hear and want so yeah and i think too for all of us ladies and on here are men who are in our group i do love the this sort of the tie-in with being healthy and strong merit strong um, I think we can sort of capitalize on that um, marketing, maybe, you know, and, and still be doing supporting a good cause. So, you know, just something to wrap your head around. I always look at different things that can sort of help us and help them. Everybody's happy, just like what we do. Awesome. Um, one thing I did want to do that just quickly came to mind. Um, was I got an email this past week about our downline that is not registered for summit because apparently they do have the summit sale on right now. So if you are thinking of going, um, it, it honestly is super duper life changing. And I can't, you know, stress enough. And Andressa just hopped on. She's been, um, Margot's been, MJ's been, uh, it is, yeah, if you have the chance to go, please try and make it. It will, A, it's gonna be unbelievable to have everyone be able to be together again, um, if that's able to happen, right? And B, it's just so life-changing in terms of like, 
you know, you all fire me up for the week being on here and being able to like, you know, show up like this morning. I literally woke up at 840 because I'm taking two weeks where I'm not. I turned all my alarms off and, you know, so and I can just show up in my pajamas and I'm having my first cup of coffee and I don't have to overthink it and I can be me and I can. Um, and the fact that we all have this enthusiasm and passion for like living our healthiest life, but then helping other people do that too. Multiply that by like, I don't even know, you know, how many people are at Summit, 25,000 people, right? So it's, it's pretty, pretty powerful. Um, so if you can get there, I would highly recommend taking advantage of the Summit sale that is on there. Okay. Yeah, I bought my ticket uh, when it was on sale during the Summit of this year. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's, it's so, so awesome. I've never been, obviously I'd like to go. Yeah. I'm hoping we can go. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much right now about hotels um, because okay. what will happen is like, we got extra rooms. Um, other people will have got rooms and they'll need roommates as it gets closer to. Uh, my one suggestion would be if you are going to share a room with someone else, uh, Andressa had this experience happen where one of the girls she was staying with, everyone bailed on her. And so she was uh, left with the bill of the room. So I would get people to, if you are booking a room, I would get people to e-transfer you ahead of time. Just so That's that- That's a good idea. In case they don't, they can't make it, right? So that would be my one suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, that was the main thing I was worried about at this stage. I was like, oh, I have my ticket, but I haven't thought about rooms yet. And yeah, just... the, well, closer to the time, usually Angie puts together a Facebook group, but also we'll have like a coach, like a chat in our Empower Squad group. And then people start talking about, I need a room and, and what have you. And, mm -hmm. and so we can figure it out that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what about uh, flight tickets too for getting there? Like when do people usually start booking those? I'd probably book my flight for summit in like February, March. Okay. Yeah. I would wait until this Omicron is like contained. I would really wait or if there is another variant that's going to come because usually unless you book with refundable or whatever, because Timera lost, um, we got it. I lost 1500 bucks right? for Pinto Canada. How much? Yeah, 1500 And they don't refund, they don't, don't do anything. I have still credit from um, for both of us for United. So just wait. Or there's just buy the most expensive ticket so you can get the money back. Because seriously. Or a transferable. I'm right? not like very YouTube. hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> because last minute, what's the next um, letter in the alphabet for the Greek alphabet? It's going to come. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's reality yeah. don't get your hopes up i disagree i'm hopeful so there you go because i'm going what? to st louis in july and i'm going to see my brother too because he's in chicago and i'm going to buy a ticket and i'll probably buy a ticket in march but get one that you can actually like refund a, or get refunded or get or, credit or something or yeah get credit something, or something like that you might not get your money back but at least you'd be able to use it on something in the future what companies i i'm not i'm not familiar with like flying at all so i have to really go google because google will give you all of the options with all the different airlines so if you see okay. like flight to etc it'll give you okay. all the flight options that are going yeah. that day and then you okay can, um, look into the uh, reason i didn't get money back for or anything back from ours is it was air transat air transat oh, yes. it's a i had heard that they were not doing that so so that's why but if we had if I had booked with like Air Canada or United or something like that, then I would have been able to have a credit. Uh, Tamara, people. I would check back in with Air Transit. They refunded a bunch of people money. They were doing that earlier this I year. I emailed so many times and they told me no. No, I so got refunded. I had, I, I had, because uh, I do part-time travel agent work and um, I had clients that were supposed to go December of 2019 and they just were refunded last August, this August. So it you know took what them they a year. told me is that it's because it was 
I was supposed to fly by December 30th, 2020. And I was like, well, I couldn't fly though. How was I supposed so, to know that I had to book something by that time? We couldn't fly. Yeah, if they, did, if they didn't refund, they should have extended your vouchers. There's no way you should be losing any money. Yeah, so, okay. I, got, so, I got refunded, Tamara. So I'm going to forward you the email, the, my final email where it said, yours Air yes, China? we will. Re- yep. Really? Yep. Yeah. And Kim and I both had booked for Punta Cana and we were supposed to leave, of course, two days after they shut okay, the world down, the, March. The stuff? Yeah. Please yeah. Do. I will send, I will send it to you. I would like Air that back. Yeah. We both got 800 and whatever dollars back. Yeah. Went back into my account. Yeah, I just, I heard it on the I news. I was supposed to book before December 30th, 2020. And I was like, how am I supposed to book when we can't even book? No, no. Yeah. We, I had that first. And I called in and song of woe and said, you know, this was, this was a specific thing for a specific event and I will not be going back. And even the person I'm traveling with, we have, we're different families. She has different schedules, blah, blah, blah. I read a riot act to them. about <laughs> Why you, bluff? Why you, bluff? What are you, doing? you know, you do that. And then, uh, she, and then yeah, them? I got, I had phoned them a couple of times because I don't, this emailing and whatever I never get anywhere so I did phone a couple of times read my song of woe to a couple of different people they said keep an eye on it keep an eye on it they'd heard maybe something was happening and then I actually saw it on the news um they were talking about in the summertime about re air transit there was a list of a few airlines that were refunding I mm-hmm. guess they had received government money or something ah, yeah. and that's what I said so now, I was like I you guys they I got their bailout government yeah. regulation that you yeah, have they to got refund our tickets and they were like no yeah. you were supposed to book by December 30th and I was like what yeah no, no I think it's it but it is up to you to be the squeaky wheel you've got okay. to yeah. poke and post I, 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 I want so. 1500 bucks back I I had clients who were supposed to go April and then when COVID first hit and then they pushed everything back. So they had to rebook for December, 2019. Then that got canceled. They got vouchers and then out of the blue because they hadn't booked yet. Like who knew when you were going to be able to go anywhere out of the blue, they just uh, sent refunded. Didn't yeah, even Margo, do the voucher you can thing. Send me any, or Debbie, if you can send me any info on how to contact them, I would appreciate it. Yeah, that's sure. a lot of money to lose out on. So I, yeah, that doesn't seem fair yeah. at all. Yeah. I was like, yeah, and how how do I book a trip when you're not actually flying anywhere? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, yeah, that's another thing is I don't think they're even flying out of Vancouver now. So I, I, I no, they're thing. not. I, yeah, I had it all. You know, how can I book a flight? You're not flying out of Vancouver, but I think I phoned okay and talked to somebody, and I sort of expressed my. Yeah. I sense sadness and and my I can't afford to lose this kind of money. This is a lot of money, blah blah blah. And when you're when you're human with another human, it kind of sometimes helps to, right. as opposed to this, they don't care. You know, this is whatever. Just my opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, don't book with Air Transit. Moral of the um, story. On a, on a side note, on a good news side note, everybody. I ordered two things. I ordered my beach body stuff and I ordered some saint makeup from uh, a woman who's in our little fit club, Becky Hurley, who's also supports beach body. And the beach body came first. <laughs> wow. I ordered this. I ordered the, and I'm, I literally had three, four of these energized left. That's all I had left. And boom, in comes my box of stuff. Oh, there. Mm-hmm. And, and it, did you track it? I didn't tr- track it, but I only ordered it like the day it came out, which was what December the for coaches, December second, December third, something like that. Well, I haven't got mine yet. Oh, I don't know. It's probably an air transit thing. They yeah, mine's on air transit. Sure. I called in and talked to. But air my transit. thing is that when I click on tracking now, it just says tracking will be available when the package. It's, it's been shipped to the shipper and i'm like but the package is at the shipper i got an email <laughs> saying it's shipped now there's no tracking on it well, what i was going to say it looks like this quick start nutrition guide that's in here is different although i haven't i literally just got it before this call so i haven't looked but it looks like it's a bit different and thicker i know it's french and english but 
than the other than the other one. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little video on my, my little fit club about this kit because it just came in. So that's ironic because I just posted that I'm gonna do a chat in the fit club. So and this whole sadness about COVID, and I know it's terrible and it's whatever, but we we have we are still able to run this business. <laughs> so maybe take your sadness and and i mean see your fan, close family or as many people as you can my my husband's going to hopefully get a, my my 94 year old mother-in-law on the island and bring her here if she's comfortable but that's another thing where when we want to see our family that's all great that we want to see our family but in my opinion as i said to carrie we need to ask our family if they want to see us because yeah you know Car if carrie said to me because it's all about exactly. comfort level, Margot. In the beginning, exactly. I was paranoid and nothing that I could do it was just my mental health. And I need to like be okay with that, that, that I was not okay with going anywhere. Yeah. And you, but, but you, as much as we, how can I say this? Um, like even Carrie, my niece, I said, you know, my mother-in-law is coming. So that's why I couldn't come to the event and all that stuff. Just, just doing my due diligence, doing the best that I can. And if something happens and they end up getting whatever they're supposed to get, whatever they're getting, it's not, I don't feel guilty. <laughs> I don't regret a decision to go to a party. And, and my, my niece is like, well, what if somebody dies tomorrow? What if some, which I get that, but heaven forbid, you don't want to be responsible for that happening. Like, you know what I mean? It's like a catch 22. You want to see the person, but the person needs to be comfortable seeing you so and you need to do your due diligence to make sure that they are safe in my and they can wear masks too my parents actually they asked me to wear masks until like monday because my yeah. dad is totally immune compromised he's going through chemo so i'm wearing my mask i'm just like i close here now the balcony because i'm in the balcony area here um but my mask is yeah. here so That's when perfect. i go inside the mask, i put the mask so everyone's comfortable yeah, That's exactly. Thing. Like you still can't see your loved ones. I know. I know. So that's, it's, it's, it's more of, yeah, it's just about their comfort level as opposed to ours. We have to think, we have to ask them. And if Everyone's they are okay with it, level. if they are, yeah. And if they are okay with it, then go to town, do whatever it is that they're comfortable with. Because at the end of the day, if something did happen, you did your due diligence to make sure that they were comfortable with the situation. And then you're not feeling like you've done something that you shouldn't have done. In my opinion. <laughs> so, but having said that, as, as sorry, I was just gonna say, as us coaches, we can still help. Cause right now, um, Crystal, who's not on, but she posted something in our challenge group. It's a, it's a post, it's a, your scheduled post. And it's, it's about sort of mental health and, and the fact that we can't physically be around each other, but we can still come the new year. I do want to do more to Maris to out here, uh, MJ, if you can come out, but out here in Surrey, Cloverdale area, more like outdoor stuff. And then we're all comfortable. Then everybody's comfortable because you can do stuff outside and we could do maybe instead of once a month, maybe we kick it up a notch. We do, you know, every two weeks, we do a Saturday half hour workout at an outdoor park. And everybody's comfortable and you can yeah. still see people and talk to them and all that stuff. Okay. Carry on now. <laughs> I was going to ask actually. So, I mean, it's a, it's a great transition from, you know, we can still run this business and this means that people still want to do home workouts. Um, a couple of people I've been talking to have, and I actually saw an advertisement for this, but I don't, I haven't downloaded the app and I don't know if anybody here has experience with it fit on it's an app that apparently offers entirely free workouts. I know they're not program based. Well, actually, I don't know that. I don't have much experience at all about it. Is there anybody else who has spoken to people about doing this and they're like, oh, how is it different from the fit on? No, there's app? no way it would be structured like a program. Exactly. It would yeah. just be workouts. Yeah. It would be similar to body, but not the interactive piece, right? They're workouts that are uploaded to the app. They probably have like, you know, 40 different workouts program. you can choose from. And it, you know, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna progress with it. Yeah. Not the way a Beachbody program is structured. 
Yeah, that was my response about progression and program based, but um, and, and the, the other piece is design. Don't have, you don't have a coach. It's just through an app. Yeah. There's no one checking. And how about the nutrition, coach. Sam? Yeah. We know that without the nutrition, we don't get results. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I, I have like I used Two. to teach so many ah. Zumba classes, and I was. Yeah. Okay. You know, round. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay yeah those are two pieces that i did not put in my response nutrition yeah that, for me nutrition is like by well, the way, what i say to control. people is is everyone knows that it's fitness and nutrition if you want to feel good yeah. so why do so many people struggle with not feeling good because they don't have a coach they don't have someone checking in on them they don't have someone troubleshooting and redirecting them and so they'll fall off the wagon and they'll right like that's what they'll say all the time i love that mj and margo are like looking at each other they don't have <laughs> you right perfect. perfect so that's that's my response to it is yeah it's great it's but it's a it's no different than when i used to go to the gym and do the same three different workouts on rotation all the time yeah. for over a year and I'm bored out of my mind because I'm like oh great here I go again what am I going to do today no, <laughs> no uh, perfect yeah yeah you I know what I'm going to add because now everyone being kind of, it's kind of locked down again for you guys there but I yesterday I got to see my brother I got to see my sister my nephews I was so so happy but my brother was um, embarrassed to see me because he gave in to the pandemic blues and he gained all the way back and more. He's eating bars of chocolate to cope with COVID and the new times. The, and I, and it, I was like, okay. I That's said, good. okay. That's okay. Okay. Let's do it again. I'm going to bring P9X for you. You're going to follow the nutrition. I said, you know what? Just now that you're here in this wave, just enjoy Christmas and New Year's. And you're going to be my model again. So we're going to have to start all over again. But thinking about my brother, I was thinking about everyone else that coped with food, That's comfort true. food. Yep. Because like, it was not like everyone like me that went and like paid thousands of dollars to go see a therapist to take yeah. care of their mental health. And so they coped with, they could, right? What was mm -hmm. right there. And sometimes a bar, bar of chocolate, it's the hug that they need. So reach out to people lots of people now especially the job one yeah it's gonna be like the, the game changer for so many people for so many people amazing um i don't i don't want to keep being the one yapping so i'll ask one more question and then everybody else is andressa just wrote oh definitely gained the pandemic 20 pounds so I did for sure. I gained 20 pounds during those months. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Right? Everything's taken away and you're like, okay, what do I do? I'm going to eat and I'm going to drink. Uh, if you drink. Because, Drinking was my uh, thing. Right? Uh, Okanagan wine was my thing. <laughs> it is very but then I lost 30 pounds, so. Well, you look great. amazing. Yeah. You look like a model dress. I cannot believe it. Yeah, girl, where are you going? You look so gorgeous. <laughs> I, went, I, I went to church, and now I'm on my way to the gym. So <laughs> I, I did not get this dress up to go to the gym. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Sweating them up. And just, I love it. I know. I was like, wow, I, look at me showing up to the hangout. <laughs> waking up 20 minutes beforehand. But you guys are in the morning. Here it's already almost one. That's so, true. You know. That's true. That's true. Uh, here's almost 3 p.m. I had lunch already. I said, Mom, we need to go early because I need to be on time for the meeting. It's the only <laughs> live thing that I need to be, okay? She's like, okay, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going to ask my next question. Voice mm -hmm. invites. How often do you do it? When do you do it? Did you do it right from the beginning instead of like sending a little text? And the reason I'm asking is I watched Jace. Jace. Um, oh, Jace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget her last name. Lake the one Logan. that Christina shared, right? 
Yes. Amazing. Uh, I really, really resonated with her talking about how she wrote these super salesy uh, first messages. Cause even though I had all of you guys, it was still like, you got to the point of frustration. You're like, no one's paying attention to me. So I would send these like long, like it's only comes out to $15 a month. And even though everyone said, don't do that. I'm like, but they need to know it's affordable. And of course, even people who I was super close with just didn't respond back. And I just loved how she wrote back to each one of those people and said, listen, I didn't mean for that to sound salesy. Um, I'm just super passionate about what I'm doing. Let's start from the beginning. How are you? Are you working towards any goals? And I was like, wow, that's game changer. I was blown away too, Sam. I loved her talk. Yeah. Yeah. It was was a national wake up call, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love voice memos, but, um, I really think like for her in her particular situation and someone can obviously share their thing like she realized that she was coming across in a way that she would not respond to the message right so I always try and think about it like if someone sent me that message would I reply or would it just be something I read and left that's how I kind of do it for myself so I make mine very very personal in the sense like I'll share something about like you know, how the past couple months have been incredibly hard for me um, and how I am focusing, I'm starting a 20 minute workout program. I've got a small group of women that are doing it together. Um, Would you like to, would you like more info or would you like to try the sample workout? I'd love your feedback. So for me, that one in a typed message works because it is my experience and it's not a, yeah, it's copy and pasted, but at the same time, it's like, personal if that makes sense um if I had sent one like she had sent like like that I probably would have done a voice message too to reply my thing is is that then when someone replies then I send them the voice message where I'm like I think it's just easier for me to explain over a voice message a little more personal um, but I don't do it in that initial message very helpful thank you I don't know if someone has a different experience with it but that for me works. I was sending voice I just gonna say for a long time and people um, wouldn't even listen to them. Right? Because it kind of comes out of the blue. Okay. I don't know who just who I just cut off. I'm sorry. Um, I think Andressa Andressa was gonna say something oh, and MJ was gonna say something. I think she's frozen. MJ, you were going to say something. Maybe you say something and then Andressa will be unfrozen by then. <laughs> <laughs> it's Florida. She shouldn't have been frozen. <laughs> yeah. We should be frozen here. I think I was just going to mention earlier, you were talking about um, the free workouts that people can do. There's lots of it, right? There's lots. People can go on YouTube and pull up all kinds of free stuff. And I have a very, very close friend of mine who was doing that for a long time and started kind of sending me her little sweaty selfie just on a text, right? To, for accountability, because we always talk about how it's consistency that'll get you there, but how do you stay consistent? You have to have somewhere to go with it, right? Yeah. So that's why the Fit Gym is so good uh, in even just small groups, uh, whether it's on bod or whatever it is. But anyway, I knew it was gonna be just a matter of time. So sometimes you just, people wanna try that stuff because yeah, it's free. But after a while, it gets boring. Boring. <laughs> it gets really boring. It gets like, okay, what am I doing? What do I do today? Um, I mean, she had joined a challenge with this, whoever it is. And that's great. Like that's, at least I said, I don't care what you're doing. Just do something, <laughs> right? Then eventually, and she actually joined this month rather than even waiting until January when she's actually not even starting until January. But she wanted her package and she wanted to be ready to go in January with um, job one. She works out early, early in the morning and it's gonna be perfect for her to bang out 20 minutes. And I'll say, you guys, I'm halfway through this thing. And after like 80 day obsession, 6.45, the work, the prep, all that stuff, I am freaking sore <laughs> from these 20 minutes. Hey, you work. look amazing. Oh my God. So <laughs> it's, it works. It, you don't need more than that, right? When, when you just get down to it. Anyway, long story long, she finally joined right so I knew that and so for some people who are dabbling with the free stuff 
that's fine. But kind of keep checking on them, you know, and eventually they might say, you know what, I, I do want something that's a little more structured. And I think having a plan, you know, and not having to think about what you have to do every day, it's already figured out for you. That's the beautiful thing. And then of course, that accountability piece, us as coaches, on top with the nutrition, it is the it is the perfect solution. <laughs> and Jay, also, yes. you are following a nutrition plan, and you look you're not like doing like my brother that like did his transformation and went back because after that nobody would listen to him anymore. So that's why I I also I had my plan. I love that we always have like new programs coming up to look for because I was like bitching about autumn that eighty day obsession. It was amazing, but like never again. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, job, 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 the one's coming. So any minutes, yes. Now I'm doing MBF. OMG, it's so easy. It's like nothing compared to ADD obsession. Of course, ADD obsession is coke to your body, like my abs, but like everything. I was like, wow, I just didn't have that. But um, yeah, uh, you are being a role model. So people are seeing that you're still on track and you still, you made this a lifestyle. And that's what I'm telling people. It has to become a lifestyle. It's not a diet. Someone just said, oh, you're on a diet. It's like, nope, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, Diets amazing. don't work. I have to say, um, Tanya, thank you for defending us on our Instagram. Because I posted yes, Clarissa's yes, yes. transformation. And this lady, and it's the second time it's happened, Oh, um, commented as she was like, stop tagging um weight loss and stuff like that and, and weight like, loss and and, and non-diet hashtags what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you yeah and i so, saw that and it it made me just furious i'm like what the hell are you talking about nothing on her post on clarissa's post said anything about like bulimia or anything to do with eating problems or disorders or anything she is on a weight loss journey it is her journey. It has yeah. nothing to do with anything else. So leave and her alone. And I was alone. super careful. I did the post. I was super careful about the hashtags that I used because I'd had someone comment before about like tracking macros and something like that. So, yeah. so I took all of those ones out. And then, so my response to her was actually nothing is wrong with us. Uh, maybe assumptions are what, what needs to stop. Uh, because you don't know her journey and you don't know that she struggled with yeah. eating disorders for like 30 years. So yeah, finding that balance uh, is pretty magical, you know? And, and so it's like, and then I said, her. and thank you for spending time on our page. <laughs> I saw that. I was just going to say, I loved how you had put it at the end. Well, thank you for following us. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she does follow us. I think it was someone like she was searching a, has a hashtag, a but hashtag. then Tanya was like, how dare you? And I'm like, go girl. Well, I just so I don't hard like to people finish the impression. She I has no idea. I was bitching yeah. about autumn every single day. Lee and I, Lee, I need to meet her with you so I can bitch about autumn. I had to shush her, put her in mute. I couldn't listen to her voice anymore. It was hard. And Tamara said, just quit. I was like, no, I need to finish. I'm going to do it to the end. Well, and you did, and you look fantastic. Like for sticking it out for eighty days, that is absolutely amazing. Like, I think that oh, don't worry about what like, anybody else says. What you've done was for you and you only. It wasn't for the rest of the world to sit there and. Yeah, you know, it was for me, like to get to the top of the mountain. Only. Yeah, yeah, you look. I got to the top of the mountain, <laughs> and now I took yeah. a flight to Brazil after getting to the top of the mountain. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, I, that was I just, awesome. That was, I just I was couldn't, just like, yeah. I couldn't watch somebody getting that I, you know, care about like told stuff like that. Like that is just too harsh. I'm like, well, and you the know, the work that goes into it, right. It's not yeah, like, exactly. We're yeah. there for each other every day. So they, uh, yeah. you guys know, right. Yeah. yeah. It just, it just pisses me off that people just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> because they're so stuck in their own head in their own journey right like that's yes. the thing is and and that makes me sad for that woman because she's obviously struggled with her her demons and her eating disorders and has not found a way to peace she yeah, hasn't found to peace. find that peace so it, yeah. it does make me sad for her um yeah. for sure you know we have to have that compassion for someone where she, and she's just not open to so she's Talking still about searching it. and searching and searching and searching so one picture one picture, Sam. I was just, I literally just pulled my camera out. 
Sam has to go. Thank you. Bye, Sam. Okay, have a, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye bye. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. So we're seeing a couple weeks. <laughs> Does anyone else have any anything that they want to talk about or that's working or no? I got oh, somebody... the college was working for my mom. I got here, her belly was this big because of the pandemic. Because I, I tell everyone, my whole family was composed of eaters. Seriously, the whole family. That's how I grew up. First day I get here, we're gonna go to this. Oh, you can eat buffet. Tomorrow, no, this time it's like more like um vegetarian lots of veggies lots of fruits and of course there's the carbs and everything else uh my mom you only gonna have one plate we're paying you're gonna that's a lot so i grew up with that you only eating one plate you need to eat until you're like sick so it's like no linga if i'm full i'm good that's <laughs> enough Fuck you. so it was years working on this mindset right but as soon as i land in brazil the whole thing comes up like oh look where i'm from right Oh, what family I come from? Anyways, so her belly was seriously this big. So I've been making Shakeology. She loves Shakeology. And for my dad, because of the cancer and the sores in his mouth, because of the chemo, that's kind of the only thing he can have. So that's why Timary got another two points because they made me order more and my friend's going to bring. So anyways, my mom's been drinking Shakeology for a week now. Her belly's already half because she gets full and make with peanut butter and cashew milk. Uh, her belly's already half. She's not having dinner. So she's having lunch, her breakfast. And then she's not she's not hungry anymore. She has like a fruit or a little salad. Uh, she cannot believe she's like, what am I gonna do when she college is over? I'm like, okay, you're gonna come or I'm gonna bring more she college. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. Yeah, it does work. It's magical. Yes. Well, ladies, I think I will sign off then. <laughs> So enjoy the holidays. Merry Christmas to you all. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. And we'll see you in the new year. Woohoo! Right? Happy so 2022. When's the, next stage? when's the next stage that we meet? Two weeks from now. Oh, so after so, New Year. Yeah. Because next weekend is Christmas weekend. I don't want to. So January 2nd, oh. then, right? Uh, yeah. The second. Okay. okay. Feliz Natal! Ciao, see you everybody. next year. See you next year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.